Hey, what's up? Dust the Viking here. Had an interesting idea today. I thought we'd let the ghost sit for an entire hour before we went into the house and started investigating. I'm not sure if anybody else has done this before, uh, but either way, I thought it'd be something cool to do. So let's go see what happens. All right, so it's been about an hour. As we can see, the activity has been uh, hitting huge like waves, and then it crashes back down in huge waves. Does anybody have any predictions about what we're gonna find in there? Let's see, where's the fuse box? I haven't even looked. It's in the basement. And straight down to the basement, get the power on, and we'll see if we can figure out where this ghost is. Oh. <laughs> Might be here. Although it's been loose in here for a complete hour, who knows how much roaming it's done. Oof, God, this basement always gets me, dude. That little sound right there, ah, oh, it spooks me, dude. Every time. I don't know why I'm, I'm suddenly way more nervous. Right, like, I feel like this thing is already, like, super mad for some reason. All right, there's our bone. There's our sink full of water. There's a cup knocked over in here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> is the mannequin moved? Bro. Is it always there? I can't remember. Oh, freezing and fingerprints right off the bat. So, we knew, though. We knew. We were going to find that evidence super quick. Alright, so it looks like it's in the garage. It was just a trail of destruction from the kitchen all the way into the garage, dude. <laughs> this is kind of really... Um, I don't know why this is spooky. Uh, I, I like my sanity, of course, I knew it was going to be super fine. Let's go ahead and enter the evidence, though. We've got fingerprints and freezing breath and maybe even EMF eyes. This might be a gin. Um, it's not a spirit box. Could be an orb. So that means it's not dots either. So we've got orbs writing or EMF 5. So we get a, we get a book in there and we'll look for orbs as well. Come here, camera. Boop, grab that, and we got our flashlight as well. Ooh. I guess just because it, I feel, I don't know, I just feel like it's super, super mad. It also could be a demon, so now it's just even worse. I still get a little spooked over freezing breath. Because. <laughs> Flashing light got me, dude. Uh, that's how on edge I am right now. I guess that this looks like some kind of epicenter of destruction right there. Here we go. Can you give us a sign? Let's kill that. And I'm going to put that on the book. And then we'll go out and see what we can see ghost orbies and if we can't dude i don't know why this is actually really spooky to do it this way oh god is this how we do vr uh 
I, dude, I'm, I don't know. I'm excited for the October patch. Oh, man. What if we do this for the October patch? Oh, God. The thought just makes me dread a little bit. Nah, we're going to do this for the October patch, too. We'll do a let the ghost sit for an hour, and we'll do the October patch, and we'll do it in VR, and I'm gonna hate, I'm gonna hate life. That's the plan. That's the plan. Uh, right, we were gonna look for ghost orbs. I can't even keep my train of thought here. Uh, man, this is a really good view, isn't it? I think if there were orbs... Although it looks like this little glimmer right here, but it's not moving, so it's not an orb. Oh, I actually kind of think it's an EMF-5. I really think we're looking at EMF-5. It might not even be in the garage, for all we know. Right? If it is the EMF-5, that makes it a gin. It's been a gin with a breaker box off this whole time. <laughs> All right, so let's go get let's get uh, another EMF reader and let's get a camera and let's just go uh, collect fingerprints. What do you say? And let, let's get some pictures. Let's see what happens. And we'll just hope it, it might not even be downstairs, right? Like, there's some destruction in there, but it's not reacting to my presence at all now, which is weird. Really weird, I'll be honest. I do like that shimmery surface on the water. What's reacting now? There's the five. So it is a gen. Woo! It's getting active now. Isn't it, though? Alright, hold on. I forgot how to drop things. Okay, okay. I need you to calm down. Okay, there's a fingerprint. There's a fingerprint. There's a fingerprint. Oh, we're out of pictures, dude. Let's go get some more pictures. And now it's knocking on doors. Now, weird. So, think about this. It's, uh... The activity, I think I expected to be constantly up, but it's not. It seems, even though it's been sitting this entire time, the activity is still coming in waves. Like it cycles up and cycles down and cycles up. And I wonder if all the ghosts are like that. I assume they are because that's how the game works now. Like, the ghosts all used to be pretty unique. I don't know if it was ever on purpose, but for whatever reason, they were definitely all unique. And that's not the case now. Now behavior is a little bit more uh, standardized, or rather a lot more standardized, to be fair. See, I think it cracked this door here as well. Did it? God, dude. <laughs> uh, this thing needs to calm down. Is it in here on any of these light switches or windows? Nope. Okay, I think that's it. We'll come in here into this dark little room. I was right, though. The evidence was all over the place like we didn't have to try for evidence at all <laughs> what? 